today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Today let's look at 2 Corinthians 11.3. 2 Corinthians 11.3. Now remember, last, yesterday we found out that Jesus through his death destroyed the power of Satan, that Jesus has the authority and the power, and that when we receive baptism, the Holy Spirit, we are filled and endued with power. And here, verse 11, because a lot of people give Satan a lot more credit than they think than he should. But Paul is saying here, But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. The simplicity that is in Christ. You see, when you listen to Satan your mind will be corrupted. And again, we go back to the scripture we started a number of weeks ago. I would that you prosper and be in health even as your soul, your mind, and then your emotions prosper. And it's through Satan's satility that you can be corrupted in your mind. All corruption starts in the mind. It is not in your spirit. Your spirit is perfect. And deception or subtility which is deception, is Satan's only weapon. We must renew our mind to the Word of God. And it's God's will for you to prosper and be in health. Continually meditate on that. Find scriptures, by the stripes of Jesus I'm healed. That Jesus bore all my sicknesses and diseases in his body on the tree. That Jesus became poor that I might be rich. Get rid of the fear and focus on Jesus. Satan's only weapon against you is deception. He has zero spiritual power against you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you.